Business in the beauty business is hard enough as is. So why do we keep doing this one thing that is stopping us from going further and reaching, reaching the motherland, reaching our potential? This is one thing that I've really noticed in my life that I've been doing for a long, long time, and it's cost me so much time, money, and energy. What is this thing? That's what we're going to get into. Boop. If you don't know me, this boy, wake, 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 shut up. All right. There's a book out there called what, The Four Agreements. By, I think it's Miguel Ruiz is the author. The first agreement is be impeccable with your word. Be impeccable with your word. What does that mean? That basically means that if you say you're going to do something, shut the beep up and freaking do it. It's one of the worst. And that's why I got into in the beginning is business is hard enough as is. You got to fight the tax man. You got to fight clients. You got to fight social media. You got to fight freaking who knows the weather or COVID or, the, you know, there's like a million things. You got you to fight the flu. And there's so much we got to fight with. Does it make any sense whatsoever for us to fight ourselves? What happened this morning, again, I'm a human, a flawed human, and I am constantly battling within myself. I've noticed this today, noticed that, and I even got crystals, yo. Like, y'all don't think Wiki is, look at that. Look at these beautiful quartz crystals, right? Anyways, I got I got quartz crystals. I got, I got Ganesh over here. If you don't know about Ganesh, get to know Ganesh, you know. A lot of, a lot of, I got a lot of things here to promote positivity in my space. But what I realized is I, in the past, I have told myself, hey, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. And then when it comes time to do it, I'm like, ah, I don't feel like it. A great example is this morning. So as you might know, I am involved in some Muay Thai action. Throw them, ooh, throw them bows, right? Hurtful, hurtful, dangerous out there, but whatever. And in and one part of Muay Thai training is jump rope. Dude, if you want to get in shape, freaking jump rope. Oh, ha, oh my God, I can't, I can't believe how hard it is to jump rope. It's just insane. And because I suck at it, I go, okay, wait, this is what I'm going to do. Every morning I'm going to wake up. Forget about a jumping rope. I'm just going to hop. I'm just going to ju just jump up and down to get my calf muscles strong enough so I can do it without freaking uh, getting tired so fast. So that was what I said I was going to do. And what happened, unfortunately, is I wake up in the morning. And I'm like, man, it's tired. I don't feel like it. Instantly, my mind, I said I'm going to do this thing. And now my mind is giving me reasons not to do it. I am fight. I am debating within my head to do this thing that I said I was going to do. Are you feeling me? And this applies to a lot of things in life. I don't know about you. I've been on keto for a little over 10 days now. It's going to be two weeks this weekend. Being on keto is freaking hard. And if any of y'all struggle with food, like I have struggled with food and I've done some disgusting things. I've thrown chips in the garbage can because I don't want to eat them anymore because if they're in the house, I'm going to eat them. There have been days, and this is confession, there have been days I have gone back into the garbage can, went down and grabbed the chip bag of chips again and then started eating it, right? It's like just, just horrible. That, that was my addiction and my relationship with certain foods that were not conducive to where I wanted to be. It, 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 I, I realized that I'm seeing these habits within myself that are not good, that are not serving me. And then what I ended up doing later, because I'm like, okay, wait, if you throw the chips bag in the garbage can just like that, your ass knows the chips are still in the bag and you can pull them out and still eat them like an idiot. 
So what I ended up doing then is I, if I'm throwing the chips bag, which I should not have purchased in the begin with, because they're not consistent with where I want to go, but I'm an idiot. Well, I was an idiot. I'm not an idiot. Speak positive about yourself. These are old habits, old habits uh, that I did. And I ended up now, if I'm throwing the chips in the garbage can, I'm emptying the bag in the garbage because, yo, your boy's ghetto, but your boy is not that ghetto where I'm going to start picking chips out of the garbage can next to who the heck knows and what else, right? So that, that's where I got. And I'm just noticing these habits within myself where I am arguing with myself. I'm negotiating with myself. I'm, I'm talking myself out of things. It, it, it's not a bad thought. If I'm talking myself out of bad things, are you with me? If I'm like, hey, Wick, you know, you need to leave uh, that cocaine alone. <laughs> or, hey, Wick, you need to, you know, stop, stop uh, smoking all that crack. I was like, uh, you know, that's probably a good thing if, if I have those habits. But these other areas that are just equally as bad in different endeavors in realms of my life because it was not conducive where I want to be. It's like I, I'm noticing myself doing things and then arguing with myself. So that, and I've read that book, you know, the, the Four Agreements. I've read that book maybe a decade ago, if if not earlier. And I, that's common information. Okay, I know this. Be impeccable with your word. If you say you're going to do it, do it. You don't feel like doing it, then you, then me, I, I'm betraying myself. Are you feeling me? I was betraying myself because I said I was going to do something and then I didn't do it. And what I've realized within myself is if I continue to not do things that I said I was going to do, you know, how can I be the man of confidence that I want to be? How can I reach these endeavors? Because I don't feel like doing something. I choose not to do it, although I should be doing it. And the activity I'm doing instead is something stupid, like watching TV or distracting myself on the internet or getting lost in YouTube or things like that. So meaning that the, the activity I'm replacing what I should do with is, is not good, right? So I've noticed that within myself and maybe you might see yourself in some of these scenarios. And I wonder what would happen to my life? Where would my life be if I said I was going to do it and all of me is going in that direction? All of me is aligned with my goal, my activity. I'm going down this path. Boom. You know, we're on board because this fool, moi, once he says it, he's going to do it. We, we might as well just not fight him on this. And, and that's where my goal is right now for my, me, my body, my soul, my heart, my energy to be is to be impeccable with my word, to not argue. Again, again, I'm not worried about the outside. I'm not worried about the environment, about other people. I'm just worried about me. Because if I cannot keep my own word to myself, then I am eroding the confidence I have within myself. Meaning if, if the, the going gets tough, it is easier for me to stop because I don't feel like it. And I truly believe my feelings have nothing to do with where I want to be. It, you know, it, I don't want to go to the gym. Should I go to the gym? Yeah, okay. I don't, you know, I, I want to eat Doritos. Should I be eating Doritos? No. So it doesn't, it's, my mind is in, blah, 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 right? Because it is not always conducive. And, and that's why sometimes I got to sit down I got to do, okay, what is my mission? What do I want to do? Why am I doing it? What is my why? And from that point on, go, okay, Wick, you need to do this. So even this morning, I woke my ass up to do my hops, like 15 minutes of just jumping up and down, like, like, like the human pogo that I am. And I did not want to do it. I was like, Wick, you know, shut the F up. You said you were going to do it, do it. And I did not want to do it. I put some coffee, got my coffee, maybe, you know, 
uh, coffee is fuel for the jumping. And then I just did it. I put on Wednesday. I'm watching that series again. I like it because it's kooky and it's spooky, whatever. And I go, well, I'm going to be drinking coffee, watching that anyways. I can jump and watch at the same time. Lord has granted me with that ability to multitask. So that is my challenge to you as I continue to improve and work on myself is be impeccable with your words. Notice, and, and this was critical for me, notice the trends in your life. What are some things that you do that are not good for you? And then what should you be doing in the past if you should be doing something and then you wimped out on it like I have, then what excuse did you give yourself? Meaning you, you, your mental is speaking to you, oh, you, I don't feel like it. It's uh, If I'm going to go, if I'm supposed to go for a walk outside, you know what? It's cold outside. Oh my God, it's a little bit, it could rain. I don't know. It's not going to feel right. It's still dark outside. I can get robbed. I can get mugged. Dogs can attack me. The wolves may come out. Whatever the excuse may be. And then just be like, no, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm not going to walk outside because it's it's raining. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to walk inside. You know what? I don't want you. You don't want to walk inside. You know what you can do is just do like some some high knees. Watch, watch, your, watch your Wednesday, Adam. Hold on. Roll, roll. Watch your Wednesday Adam or your show of choice and just do high knees, right? But if you say you're going to do something, commit to it, do the best you can, you fall off the wagon, just be like, hey, I said I was going to do this, I didn't do it, and then I'm going to, like me, myself, I'm going to punish myself, I'm going to do something that I don't want to do at that time. I'm going to go, okay, sometimes, for example, in the, in the aesthetics industry, you don't want to do social media. Maybe you don't want to do this. Maybe you don't want to do a video. Maybe you don't want to do an educational video like this, that where my bald face is speaking into this camera and you don't want to do it. And what I told myself is sometimes I don't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to sit my ass here, right here. And I am not going to get up. I'm not going to watch social media. I'm not going to do, I'm just going to sit here until it gets done. Might take five minutes, might take an hour. I don't care. At some point, I'm just going to sit here. I'm like, no, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on this one thing. I'm going to do this one thing. And the interesting part, when you do that thing, for example, the 15 minutes of hoppity hops I did this morning, after my hoppity hops, I felt good. I felt good. Go, hey, man, look at that. Congratulations. Gave myself a high five. High five. Patty cake, right? Gave myself a high five. And I said, boom. Good job, son. Now do it again tomorrow. No excuses. You did it once. You didn't die. Your legs are still attached to me. And they are. The genius. And it just works. So look into your business. Look into your life. Again, I've been on keto for 14 days because my clothes just were not fitting. Now, now I'm doing much better. My clothes are fitting, you know, funky how that worked. And it wasn't that miserable. And now because I'm on it, I've been on it for, for almost two weeks. I'm not going to give up on myself now. I'm not going to give, I've, I've been on it for 14 days. I'm not going to go for Doritos now. If I'm even, even if I'm in an environment where people are eating these things, dude, I've already been on this thing. I've, I've gone through, I pushed the, the mountain, the, the rock up the hill, the mountain, whatever. Now I'm reaching that flat area where now it's easy. Now it's okay, cool. And now I'm seeing the benefits like, oh, that's kind of nice. My clothes be fitting a little better, more better, more better butter, right? And once you start doing and you go through that rough patch, which we go through, it's, it's just inevitable. One, you realize, yeah, it wasn't that bad. And two, hey, you know what? I can do this. And now when you're aligned with yourself and you're getting these little victories, these little victories day by day by day by day become great habits. And these habits will become what your life turns into because now you've developed good habits. I'm no longer craving Doritos. We got chips in the house and I didn't even trip. I still, there, there was a time where I'm like, I looked at them like, hmm. I got the bag of chips, was looking at the carb or carb count, like ah, 17 gram carbs. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I'm like, no, yo, 
freaking filthy animal wick. If you eat one or you eat 10, you're going to, your mind's going to, you just gave your mind that fuel that says, hey man, you already ate it. You might as well go big now. Because I know myself. I know my self-talk. I know how the devil in my mind thinks that, hey, wait, you already had one shot of tequila. You might as well have, I'll have 20. Pfft, come on. What's one going to do, fool? You already did one. We'll start again tomorrow. And, and that's how that traps that. So listen to yourself. Listen to how you talk, how your brain justifies for you not to do the things that you should, that you want, that will pull you to the level of your career and your life that you deserve. And be like, okay, not a devil. And, and that's what I, I call my other voice, the devil. Like, oh, Satan, there you go again. Trying to tempt my tummy with the taste of nuts and honey. Right? No, no, no. Not today, Satan. Not today. Good luck, boo. Today, I hoppity hopped. I did my AM skincare routine. Right? Got some things going on. Working on some work right now. I'm going to go, no. I got to sit my rear down. Stay focused. Get this done. Boom. So be impeccable with your word. Work on that. Just like as, I, as I'm working on it. And, and I, I am not, it's not easy, right? For it's not definitely not easy for me. Maybe it's easier for you, you know, power to you. But it's tough for me to just sit here and do things that I do not want to do. I have a freaking mound of like paperwork I got to freaking do. I don't want to do it, but it's important. I need to do it. It's not what I want to do. It's what I need to do. It is what is required of me, whether I want to do it or not. Right? So you, I, I encourage you, I challenge each and every one of you to work on that within your life and, and understand that it, it, it's hard. It's hard in the beginning, but it gets easier. It gets easier. That's it. You know, and if we, if it was, if it was easy, then everybody will be doing it, but it's not easy. So we have to become better. Don't wish it was easier, just get better. You become better. So good luck with that. Be impeccable with your word, work on that. Listen to your devil voice, your habits, how you try to talk yourself out of things be like, no. And just put seriously, go no, no, cancel, cancel. Not today, Satan. I said I was going to do this. This is something that's positive for me. You know what? Let's go. We're just going to work on this. We're just going to sit here till it's done and, and be, you know, cranky and be like bored and twiddle your thumbs and, you know, avoid social media. Do not give in to another distraction. Sit there straight and be like, this is what we're going to do. 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 Be, be, be that annoying kid. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are you there? And then Satan will be like, God dang, fine, let's get it done. Boom. Psh, you are now aligned with your mission for commission. And I'll be wishing nothing but massive success for you to avoid any kind of poverty condition. Peace, be amazing, because being amazing pays oh so well. Peace.